Oh yes, hello YouTube, FlipLife67 here. So check this out. National Basketball Association. So basically, Ray Allen, he wants to come back from retirement. He's been out of the NBA, what was it, two or three seasons by now. And then the funny thing is, the reason why he wants to come back to the NBA is funny. Instead of wanting to win more championships, he wants to make sure Steph Curry doesn't break his record. You know what, that sounds like at least a good idea or at least a motivational factor why he should play basketball because after a while, it made me wonder if Ray Allen really wanted to play basketball again. But if he is concerned about his record of being broken, I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, Steph, the way Steph Curry has been shooting, Steph Curry has been shooting lights out. He's been putting up like 400 threes. You know, anywhere between 350 to 400 threes a season. And, you know, he's been making, what, over 200-something three-pointers. So basically, man, Ray Allen, man, he should be threatened that his record might be broken. So if he wants to come back and play for this reason, I guess... I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. I don't know, we have to think about that. You know, fans out there in uh, the YouTube committee or in the fans of NBA basketball in general, you just to ask yourself, is it really worth it for Ray Allen to come back? I mean, of course, Ray Allen, if he is still in good physical condition, could probably still, you know, score the basketball, shoot some threes. But in general, though, he hasn't been in the NBA, like I said, maybe two or three seasons by now. And how much defense can he play? Can he still play defense? And that's the thing, too. Yes, there are teams in the NBA that's going to need a stand-up, spot-up shooter, but on the defensive end, he's probably going to be a great liability, and that's just crazy to trade baskets. You know, yes, you probably hit a three, but you're going to give up a two. Miss a three, he's going to probably, you're probably just going to score two on a fast break, and it makes you wonder about that dynamics. And it's like, Ray Allen, man, I mean, yes, it's a record, and records are sometimes meant to be broken, but then again, there are records in, you know, certain sports in, in general. And yeah, this is one of these records that, you know, the way, she, like I said, the way Steph Curry shoots, it's probably breakable. So if Steph, you know, if Ray Allen wants to come back, hey, I guess at least this is a great motivational factor of why come back and check it out in the NBA. And hopefully, hopefully he decides to maybe, if he wants to, maybe try to win another championship. If not, then hey, let's shoot for that record, man. Let's make sure Steph Curry don't break that record. And I guess that's one of the few things we'll see this coming NBA season. Besides, you know, Ray Allen wanting to come back. The idea is, is Kevin Durant a villain? Now, you know, that was an interesting article. Like, Golden State's himself, I don't consider... Like they said, you can't blame Golden State for Kevin Durant. He wants to play there. Why not sign Kevin Durant? Especially, too, like they said, the way Steph Curry's ankles are. If his ankles can't hang up, you know, signing a guy like Kevin Durant is not a bad decision. So, you can't fault Golden State for signing Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant wants to play there. You know, it's only a two-year deal. He could opt out in, what, one season? Yeah, so it's a two-year deal, opt out for one. He wants to, you know, win a title. So... I guess, like I said, man, it's you kind of wish as an NBA basketball fan that he said, hey, look, I can't beat LeBron James, so you know what? Let's go to a team where I know I have enough weapons to beat LeBron. That's just crazy. I guess that does add to LeBron James' legacy. But besides that, you know, Golden State is not the villain on that one. I think Kevin Durant is. It's just crazy to know that he's going to be the bad guy, and it's just crazy to see what he's going to do in this NBA season. And, of course, you know, like I said, I am shocked that uh, Wessel Westbrook decided to resign with uh, OKC. You know, I, I was really no seriously. I was really looking forward to that ESPN's next 30 for 30 failure to launch in OKC, and now I guess that's out the window, man. It was just my idea, and uh, you know, I am from Hawaii, so I'm thinking, well, maybe I can do a pigeon version of that ESPN's 30 for 30 almost failure to launch in OKC keyword almost failure to launch, considering you know Westbrook is still in uh, OKC. But besides all of that, folks. On Flip Life 67, like, subscribe, comment it, and especially too, if you are checking out my videos, you know, basically comment. You know, just comment. At least give me an idea of clue what I could do better. I mean, besides the obvious of probably getting a better camera and actually maybe editing my videos and stuff. But besides that simple stuff, enjoy your weekend, everybody. I'm sorry, my bad. Not enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of the day, everybody. We out.